to increase flexibility in your hips and groin. I'm coming at you with a personal training and a dance teacher background of many years. So I'm going to talk you through this. Go ahead and take a butterfly position there. You're going to use your elbows pushing down on your inner thighs and you're just flapping your wings as we like to say. Just helping everything relax. Try and keep your torso upright. Now we're going to push forward thinking about your belly button coming as far forward as you can. Use your elbows to press down and away with your knees and come up. You're going to twist pushing away from the direction you are turning. Feel that increase through your hip flexor. You're breathing, taking your time. There's no bouncing. You're just really feeling that and switch sides. Again, feeling this um, stretch away from the direction that you're pushing. You can feel this in your shoulder as well, but you're focusing on just helping those hips relax. So bring your feet together. You're gonna come to what I call a tarantula position. So feet on the ground, knees up, just come out as far as you can with your elbows close to the ground. You may barely even be able to get to that position. If you can't touch the ground, that's okay. Go as far as you can, but keep it there and now slide those legs out. Feel them extend. You're going to feel this through your hamstring, through your groin, and you're not at maximum stretch right now. We're just, this is about half of my maximum stretch. So go to about half of your maximum stretch. Now flex those feet and feel your legs roll back. Think about your kneecaps pointing towards the back and your toes. You're mentally picturing everything in your hips, just really tightening. Now pull them in. Now you're going to pull some backwards. You're going to feel this open up even more. Keep that torso forward. Try not to contract forward or backward too much. Now straighten out and bring it down. Breathe. Really exhale. If you feel pain beyond, you know, just a good stretch, make sure you don't go as far. You don't want to pull anything. So this is a system of progression. You need to make sure that you are getting a little bit better every day instead of trying to push yourself too much. Now with bent knees, I'm using the, the one elbow to press my knee open while pressing with the hand the other one. So you should feel this one tweak a little bit more and switch sides. Really focus on breathing. Picture all the tendons attached to your hips, your pelvic bone, everything that connects. Just picture them lengthening. Push against your knees as you come forward, trying to feel that opposition as the knees press backward and your torso comes forward. Make sure again you're breathing. This is all about keeping the oxygen flowing, getting that circulation. You should be coming a little bit wider each time. We're now circling backwards with the knees and getting to a straight point at the bottom. Think about those kneecaps straightening out. And again, let's slide forward. Breathe. Fill this deep and even more. Try not to bounce or retract from it, but it, embrace it. Embrace that stretch and that pull. As you come up, let's go over to one side. Now, when you are facing one side mentally, you need to be thinking about the opposite leg equally rolling out. So now I'm coming to my right, the left leg in my mind, I'm focusing more on that one and it rolling out. So that's going to help with that opposition continuously helping everything open up. Let's go a little bit further. Come to your maximum stretch there, shake it out and let's roll it forward. Notice my legs do roll forward just a bit, but mentally I'm trying to roll those knees and the heels backwards to keep that stretch increasing. So now we're going to take it to a moderate side, not full side, but really getting deep into that groin there. Um, if you're a dancer, that's something that's going to help your tilt and uh, any kind of uh, a ponche that's going to help that flexibility increase. And uh, just go ahead and hang out there for a minute. We'll stop people from walking in front of me. <laughs> and let's go further. So right now I'm right on top of the splits. If, obviously, if you can't go this far, I don't expect anyone watching this to be able to go this far. But it's a work in progress. But this, this system is going to help you in, increase. So now flexing, trying to get those heels off the ground, those kneecaps to the ground. And you did it. So, so keep it up. It's something you got to do every day and be persistent.